Many people visit the North, Car the North Carolina Zoo to see the 1,700 animals that live there, but it's also a beautiful place to immerse yourself in nature, especially this time of year. Shannon Smith shows us in today's Zoo Files. The first colors of fall appear in the treetops at the North Carolina Zoo. Some of the earliest trees are starting to show their color. There's some maples and some uh, uh, red buds and dogwoods that are already starting to turn. The zoo's nestled into the Uwari Mountains in Randolph County and becomes a kaleidoscope of color as the seasons change. There is a lot of color. There are lots of reds, lots of yellows and golds and things like that. So it's a really wonderful place to come. And guests don't even need a ticket to see some of the best scenes of the season. Instead, just walk or hike around the five miles of free trails that wind around the outside of the zoo. So in the fall of the year, we get a lot of migratory birds that will settle in there. And it's really pretty up in there. You'll see lots of different birds and animals and things like that. In addition to the hikes around the park, the zoo manages trails at two nearby nature preserves called Ward and Ridges Mountain. And one of the interesting parts about that, when you're at the top of the mountain, you're at a location that's known affectionately as the Ashboro Boulders. Some of the rocks up there 30 and 40 feet tall. It's a real interesting place to go. Altogether, the zoo offers almost 10 miles of trails that range from easily accessible to quite challenging. The views are excellent when you're at the top. So something for everyone, whether you want a strenuous workout or to just enjoy the sights and sounds of the season. So that's a blue jay calling right now. So we have lots of birds and things like that. You'll hear a lot of those. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. The zoo trails are open for free during daylight hours year round. For more information, just check out the zoo's website.